These are prayers and Orphic hymns for mourning, presented from the Collegio Sacerdae by the Sacro Flamenco Gaia Sorgo Publicola, and these Orphic hymns were translated by Thomas Taylor and are published by the University of Pennsylvania Press in 1999. They can be read from theoi.com, and they have been altered to fit the guidelines of the Collegio Sacerdae, of the State of Sandus, and of the Sacro Flamenco of the Collegio Sacerdae. These Orphic hymns are dedicated to the victims of the elementary school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. Orphic Hymn 53, Hymn to the Fates <coughs> Daughters of Darkling Night, much named, draw near infinite fates and listen to my prayer. Who in the heavenly lake, where waters white, burst from a fountain hid in depths of night, and through a dark and stony cavern glide, a cave profound, invisible, abide. From whence, wide coursing round the boundless earth, your powers extend to those of mortal birth. To men with hope elated, trifling, gay, a race presumptuous, born but to decay, whose life tis yours in darkness to conceal, to sense impervious in a purple veil. When through the fatal plain they joyful ride, in one great car, a pinion for their guide, till each completes his heaven appointed round, at justice, hope, and cares concluding bound. The terms absolved, prescribed by ancient law, of power immense, and with and just without a flaw. For fate alone with vision unconfined surveys the conduct of the mortal kind. Fate is Jove's perfect and eternal eye, for Jove and fate our every deed descry. Come, gentle powers, well-born, benignant feigned, Atropos, Lexis, and Clotho named, unchanged, ethereal, wandering in the night, restless, invisible to mortal fight, fates all-producing, all-destroying here, regard the incense and the holy prayer. Proptuous listen to these rites inclined, and far avert distress with placid mind. Orphic Hymn 86 to Death, or the Hymn to Thanatos. Hear me, O Death, whose empire unconfined extends to mortal tribes of every kind. On thee the portion of our time depends, whose absence lengthens life, whose presence ends. Thy sleep perpetual bursts the vivid folds by which the soul attracting body holds. Common to all of every sex and age, For naught escapes thy all-destructive rage. Not youth itself thy clemency can gain, Vigorous and strong by thee untimely slain. In thee the end of nature's works is known, In thee all judgment is absolved alone. No suppliant arts thy dreadful rage control, No vows revoke the purpose of thy soul. O blessed power, come, my, regard my ardent prayer, and human life to age abundant spare. Orphic Hymn 17, the hymn to Pluto. Pluto, magnanimous, whose realms profound are fixed beneath the firm and solid ground, and the Tartarian and the Tartarian plains remote from fight, and wrapped forever in the depths of night. Terrestrial Jove, thy sacred air incline, and, pleased, accept thy mystic hymn define. Earth's keys to thee, illustrious king, belong, its, sacred, its secret gates unlocking deep and strong. Tis thine abundant annual fruits to bear, for needy mortals are thy constant care. To thee, great king, Avernus is assigned the seat of gods and the basis of mankind. Thy throne is fixed in Hades' dismal plains, 
distant, unknown to rest, where darkness reigns, where destitute of breath, pale specters dwell in endless, dire, inexorable hell. And in dread Acheron, whose depths obscure, earth's stable roots eternally secure, Almighty Daemon, whose decision dread the future fate determines of the dead. With captive proserpine through grassy plains, drawn in the four-yoked car with loosened reins, wrapped o'er the deep, impelled by love, you flew to Eleusina's city rose to view. Where in a wondrous cave obscure and deep, the sacred maid secure from search you keep, the cave of Athis, whose wide gates display an entrance to the kingdom's void of day, for unapparent works thou art alone, the dispenser visible and known. O power, all ruling, holy, honored light, the sacred poets in their hymns delight, Proptuous to thy mystic's work incline, rejoicing come, for holy rites are thine. Thank you.